The next thing we're talking about is the amortization phase of the squat. Basically, without being too fancy about it, think about the time it takes you to transition from the down to the up. That transition period, that's the amortization. You want that to be as short as possible. Again, you need to think of all the muscles in your body as basically these big, strong rubber bands, and you need to load them up in a particular way. So it's important to note that you get a lot of power out of the ground itself. So if you can throw energy down into the ground and then translate that energy back up into your body, you're gonna be much more explosive out of that squat. The problem is, the more time you spend in that amortization phase, that transition, you're gonna lose that energy. The less time you spend in that amortization phase, that down to up transition, the more energy you're gonna be able to reclaim out of the ground and translate into vertical movement. So to test this out, just do a few level of plyometrics like squat jumps and just over exaggerate how much time you're spending in the hole for a few of them. And then for the next few reps, spend as little time as possible during that transition phase. You should be able to feel a difference, more elasticity, more spring, more power out of that jump. An example of that would be like this. Start with the hands up overhead. We're gonna tie in that piece now. Hands up overhead. Ton of energy I've thrown to the ground, but I basically lost it all because I paused down here in the bottom. Jump myself up. Do a few of those, see how it feels. Videotape yourself if you want to. Now we're gonna do one on the other end of the spectrum where we're trying to reduce that amortization phase, spending as little time transitioning from down to up in that squat. So, start up overhead, palms are turned out. We're gonna squat down and try to explode up as quickly as possible. You're gonna to wanna to test those out where you're basically pausing at the bottom of the squat versus springing through that bottom position of the squat and trying to take advantage of the elasticity. Another thing that's gonna take a little time for you to work out is the timing of the arm movement with the bottom of that squat position. So if you're throwing the arms back too early and you're still not down to the bottom of your squat, the timing's gonna be off and it's not gonna be as efficient. Over time, you'll get a lot better at this and your arm swing will be timed perfectly when you're getting to the bottom of that squat, using that elasticity and driving out of there with more power and ideally more vertical movement.